reviews, yeah. Hey, it's about to go down. Good morning, LLWLL squad. I'm back. Your girl is back. So today, y'all, I am making some candied yams and I am making a sweet potato casserole, y'all. I've never made neither one. <laughs> But I'm confident that I can do it. Happy holidays to everyone. And if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad you decided to tune in. And if you like this type of content, which is cooking, more cooking, reviews, uh, grocery shopping hauls, then this is the place for you. So sorry, y'all, like I got a little bags under my eyes. Went to bed late last night, woke up early this morning, and I was tired. Your girl is tired, but that's okay. Because God woke me up this morning, put me on my feet, and allowed me to be able to do what I need to do. And I'm so thankful for that. So, so thankful. Okay, and if you're returning, <clears throat> welcome back. Thank you so, so much. And thank you for all of our supporters. We appreciate each and every one of y'all. So, y'all, we about to get into these sweet potatoes. Okay, hold on. Okay, so, Haley is the one that wants the candied yams. So... I'm gonna, I've already cut those up and peeled them. Um, so those will be for the candy yams. And then I already wrapped one and I realized I wasn't filming, but I cut my potatoes into twos, as you can see right there. And then I'm putting them in the foil. I'm putting them in the foil like that right there. And then I'm going to roll them like this and I'm gonna put them in the oven on 425, okay? So, y'all, stay tuned, okay? Let me get to wrapping. All right, you all, my oven is on 425, and we're gonna put these potatoes in here, wrapped in foil, and we're gonna let them cook for an hour and 15 minutes. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay. We're gonna let them cook for an hour and 15 minutes. We're not putting them in a the pan, we're putting them straight on the rack, y'all. Straight on the rack. And then I'm just making just a small pan for me and TK. Because like I said, Haley want the candy yams. All right, you all. I'll be back. All right, you all. We about to get ready to make our sauce for our candy yams and for our sweet potato casserole. Okay? So we're going to get some of this brown sugar. And y'all, I'm just eyeballing it. That's all I'm doing, eyeballing it. And then we're gonna get some regular sugar. Some regular sugar. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Okay. Just take all the little clumps out is what I'm doing. So also too, I'm pouring me some evaporated milk in here. Look at that pour, y'all. Okay, and I'm gonna put me some more sugar, some more white sugar. I'm adding more white sugar. And I'm going to add some more brown sugar to thicken it up because I probably should have poured maybe half of the evaporated milk. I know that's probably what y'all saying. I probably should have poured half of that. So let's see if that's going to thicken it up some. But that's okay. We're going to get it right. Okay, now, instead of two eggs, I'm going to use one egg because, I, like I said, it's like a small, just a small portion for TK and I. And we're just going to whip that egg up in there. I need my whipper, whipper snacker. So, yeah, the egg is dissolved up in there. Almost, not quite. Now I want to add me some pure vanilla extract in here. Y'all saw that? 
Uh huh. Then I want to add me some of this good old cinnamon. I would love to have some nutmeg, y'all, but I don't have no nutmeg. But it's smelling mighty right, y'all. It's smelling good. It's smelling good. All right, y'all. I'm gonna mix this, and I'll be back. Yo, the skin off the potatoes. It's very, very hot. And I know in the beginning I said uh, let it cook in the oven for an hour and 15 minutes. Well, our oven is super, super hot and um, it didn't take an hour and 15 minutes. It took about 55 minutes. Yeah. 55 minutes. Trying to get all that skin and everything off that potato. And there are so many different ways to prepare this casserole. So many different ways to prepare the casserole. And so this is going to be my last two. And I'm going to do these off camera and I'll be back on when we get ready to do our mixture. Because as you guys saw... In the previous clip, I went ahead and I made the um, mixture, and I made it separate because I did Haley a side of candied yams, so I want to be able to pour that over her candied yams, so that's why I have the mixture by itself. But we're going to mash these sweet potatoes up, and then we're going to add that mixture to the sweet potato and combine all that together. Now, had I been just doing it, um, just the sweet potato casserole, then we would have done it differently. And also, too, I think the next time that I make these, the sweet potato casserole, I'm going to um, make my mixture cook it on top of the stove to give it that darker look. But hey, either way, it works. All right, you all, I'm about to finish this and I'll be right back, okay? All right, y'all, we're gonna mash these potatoes up. And I like it that it's still nice and hot because it's easier to mash them up and I'm gonna mash them up as fine as I can get them mashed. Don't want no humps, no humps of sweet potatoes and like I said this is just a small serving for TK and I because Haley wanted the candied yams alright y'all I think I got it all And I'm going to crack an egg in here. Yes. Make sure you don't have no shells, y'all. Make sure you don't have no shells. And I'm just going to mix that egg up in here. Thought I saw a shell, y'all. Okay. And I'm going to slowly pour in because I don't want it to be too soupy, but I don't want it to be dry either. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. It smells so good. I think I'm going to pour just a little bit more in there and it will be done. Ready to put it in the oven in our dish. Just a little bit more, y'all. Okay.
All right, y'all. I'm going to get my pan here. I got like a little small dish. And I'm just trying to spread. And then I'm going to put the batter in here. Look at that, y'all. Look at that goodness. Look at that goodness. Okay. Also, what I want to do is get some butter. Put on top. Okay. And now, lastly, I have my marshmallows that I'm going to put on top. This is going to be delicious. And I got these big old fat jumbo marshmallows. So I want to flood it. Flood it with marshmallows. And like I said, this is my first time making a sweet potato casserole. My very first time and very first time making candy yams too. I think when I made candy yams the first time, very first time, I just got the can and seasoned them up <laughs> is what I did. But it's better when you put your own little twist to it, right, Mr. Smith? Yep. Alright y'all, and you're just going to let them stay in the oven, let this stay in the oven for your marshmallows to melt and be golden brown on top y'all. Alright, I'll be back and show y'all the finish. Alright my LLWLL squad, the sweet potato casserole is done. Ooh-wee, look at that, y'all. Look like biscuits on top of the marshmallows. So, they so, so big and thick. Y'all, look at this. Look at this. Look at there. Look at there. Mmm, mmm. When I get ready to eat this, y'all, because I can't eat it right now. It's too hot. When I get ready to taste this, y'all, I'm going to let y'all see. I ain't going to keep y'all in the dark. I'm going to let y'all see. But thank y'all so, so much. For tuning in and before you click off make sure you look at this goodness as I plate it up y'all happy holidays everyone stay safe and be blessed bye bye Subscribe.